Mario, we are back with more Chronicles of Nyanya. Last time we explored this god awful swamp, and we did a good bit of progress, and then we died, and I said I would do the rest off camera. So I went and did a bunch of stuff that we did before, and then I accidentally picked up something that we didn't have before, which was the Mandrake. But to put the Mandrake in the fire, we have to sneak up there and then get back to the party, but you can't read what has just been said because they instantly see you. So I have to put it in there and then run. I'm like, Because <laughs> if you get one of their attention, then you have to fight all four of them. And they are a pain in the butt. Alright, here we go. Please look away. Hurry up. Okay. Okay, so I need to run down there, put it in, run back up here, and get back to my party. This is so awful. <laughs> I hate this. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna try to book it down there. I should wait for the- okay. I didn't have to get back to the party, thank god. I just had to get away. I couldn't read it, because the last time I read it, it- uh, The drawn cats are asleep by the Great Bowl. What a fantastic idea I had to organize it like this. No? Yes? Alright, so now we can explore up here without getting absolutely murdered. I died. Okay. Well, the plus side is now we can explore this area without <laughs> having to murder a bunch of people. This looks like the remnants of some ancient cat construction. Ancient cats had very strange columns, and that's why they're extinct. Oh yeah, I think the last time we got that egg as well. Ooh. There's some furniture. Eternal's wet nose. There's stool commando unit is supported by a chair. We should be as prepared as possible for this fight, said by. Will our quarrels be enough to on such a super uh no. Not right now. Alright, we should be able to keep going. I know there's that egg over there. I think we got it the last time. Oh. Oh, homeboy. I forgot he existed, quite honestly. I'll just, uh, make my way around? I mean, I have what I need to make the coffee, I think. Because we have speed milk. Do we still have a holy milk? We still have a holy milk. Speed milk. 
And I think we have sugar as well. Sugar. Can you see sugar? We have sugar. Uh -oh. ah! Fuck. I hate you. I'm not getting any, uh, Yuri for some reason. Boys is fucking absolutely obliterating us. Part of me wants to do that, but I maybe I should. say that we have um, sugar, but I don't know where it is. What is that? What is that? I haven't been up there yet, apparently. How do we get there? the sugar we need, but like, I don't know where it is. Okay, so we go through that portal thingy? But how do we get over there? Like, I see it, but I don't know how to get to it. Can I get by you way over here, or will you see me? By you, but like, it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, let me try going around. Oh, hey, that one guy. 
Uh, maybe we can go up and around somehow? Oh no, it won't let me. Alright, we should go do the thing for her dad. Or whatever. Hey, it's over here. Somewhere. I think we have everything. Where is our dad? There he is. Found him. Uh, Uncle Glenner. Wake up! Our hearts are full of cat music and our paws are full of coffee. Bam! Well, Bravo, Katniss. I knew you could do it. Verver. Now put it into my ancient blender of mystical mixing. You can also add all the other things I mentioned. We should put in the additional ingredients. Now we can add the additional ingredients. Add holy milk. Uh, add speed. Sugar. And sugar. Yes. This will be a masterpiece of barista craft. I feel 800 years younger. Brrr. Here you go. You are the best barista assistant I ever had. Uncle, you're too kind. You're all too kind. Thank you, Uncle. Uncle, you're the, you're the best. Oh, you're too nice. You're the one who's too nice. Can I help with anything? Magic glares. To make them, you must have some of the pieces of magic scattered everywhere around the ancient ruins, like the passion, for example. It's a part of the swamp. Hmm. Can I help you with anything else? Um... I remember it like it was yesterday. The swamps were small then, and someone screamed so terrifyingly that I felt the vibrations of power in my roots. I rushed to find out what was going on. Later, it turned out that it had been the birth of the Lady of the Puddle, but before I reached her, she was already grown up. Intrigued by her existence, I decided to settle in the swamp and put my roots down. So I stayed where I stood, and I stand here to this day. Hmm. Alright, so we gotta go give this lady some coffee. Making this coffee was the most epic adventure I've had so far. Okay. I don't really know why we're getting her this coffee. Like, what are we trying to get from her? Now that we have the coffee, the lady of the puddle is sure to wake up and help us. Huh, coffee. Go on, pour me some in the mug, kiddo. Alright, waking me is technically classified as a crime against a vanity, but you're adorable, so I forgive you. It's so nice to see you too, friend. Mmm, Bart's famous bariat with foam, my favorite. Mmm, I feel so full of energy and optimism. You have my blessing, and with it, this noble metal. The rock with some algae stuck on it with a thumbtack. A noble metal, you ungrateful wretch! We're honored. Yes. Oh! Only the girl cats can wear it because it comes from my newest ladies wear fall winter collection. Seems logical. What else can I help you and your mer merry band with? Since you've woken me up, you probably want something. Honorable Lady of the Puddle, please allow me to introduce myself. I am the marvelous Claire Cat of the Great Bowl of Goodness. Fran Cat Furtzinger. And this is my party, the Middlings. We've come to your damp threshold, lady, to humbly ask you to open the gate to the Cave of Ultimate Destiny. I don't know, I can't open the cave, but I won't 
Tell you why, because I'm too mysterious. I understand. What can we do to convince you to reveal the secret? I'll tell you the secret of the cave when you bring me a flower of the dark fern of the sun's gleaming. It grows up on the hill of destiny, northwest of here. It appears only in the first rays of the rising sun during the solstice conjuncture of 37 planets, three planetoids, two stars, and a black hole. Oh gosh, oh gosh, we're so lucky. That's tomorrow. Indeed, but that's not everything. I need vegetables grown by an ancient mysterious civilization, which you can find in the mysteri mystical magical ruins of veg Vegetablum Patchum, which are spread to the northeast. Only with them will I reveal the secret of my mysterious self. Sounds like an adventure everyone in the Order will envy. And I wouldn't get offended if you brought me ten drowned cat scalps. They will make me look upon you with more, with a more merciful eye. You will discover all your secrets with wild pleasure. Friend cat, that sounded really bad. I know, it sounded better in my head. We're gonna go now. Uh... I mean, I guess we could fight some... somewhere okay so can I go up and around now question mark oh we might also save and help this guy merchant won't last long let's save him Yes, senpai, the, to battle the middlings. I mean, you know. I missed. You also missed. I never gave him MP either. <laughs> nice. That's <laughs> fine. Of damage. Uh, here you go. Victory. Oh, thank you, brave cats. I see a new noble adventurous and fantastic potential customers. Because I'm a merchant. I'm going to deliver a package to Ungle Bart. Right now, I'll wait for you over there. If he pays cash on delivery, I'll even have a reward for you for my for saving my tail. Hmm, let me see. Oh, so we just find corpses and we just take their cor their scalps. Can we do do it from the ones that are asleep? I don't know. I guess I'll find out. Well, who saved my tail from certain death? Here is your reward for your devotion. These super duper mixtures. This one says free sample. So look, a gift mixture in the price. And they're expired. For the expiry date. We'll take them. We're not picky. Just give us a stamp for a heroic rest you earn our passport. Here you go. If you want to buy something or talk, jump by. I'll be resting here after all the stress. Uh, we still have five. Mm. Uh, 
steroid milk. Milk modified for rolls allows them to... I haven't checked on my roll in forever. Nom nom. Thanks you for your interest, senpai. Taking an interest in a roll is the foundation of raising it. Okay, well, uh, can, can yeah. Okay, I guess not. Um, I'm trying to remember how to get to where we were. Um, I know we killed some. Up here, maybe? Oh, okay, there they are. I'm gonna see if we can scalp them. <laughs> this is so horrific, though. Like, just walking up to some sleeping corpses and being like, here, let me have your scalp. Looks like it's dead. I mean, it's dead, but it's sleeping. I mean, I could kill it to death or let it go. Wait, is it gonna grab all of them? Hold on. I don't want all of their attention. Okay. No, I decided I'm not gonna scalp the, the sleeping ones. Oh no, I want to. I just just wanted to save first. <laughs> oh man. Can I scalp you? Uh, apparently not. I'm upset with myself. All right, well, I'm gonna try to find some corpses. I don't know where to find them, though. I shouldn't have did that. I should have just tried it and cried. Uh... Pass, man. Oh, are these guys dead? I think they are. Alright. I don't know how many I have. <laughs> this is so bad, though. Where are they? Okay. We have four scalps. And she wanted ten. Uh... Hmm. Where do I find some scalpy? We got the one from when we saved the merchant, so. I wish we hadn't said that we wouldn't scalp those guys. Well, nope, this guy's dead. Right. We could kill this guy. Cut her smash! Cut her! Oh, she's not doing as much. Ow! Ow. The crazy, the be a crazy. I don't know if it's worth it. How many times has Homeboy been hit with water? Two times? I guess maybe. Lunch. 
this, this orca is very bitten and very wet. <laughs> I don't think this goes anywhere, but I don't remember. No. No. Maybe if I could figure out how to get up there. Hmm. Oh, there's one. to do. He's confused now. <laughs> but <laughs> what does that do? <laughs> I was ill prepared. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe no. Yes. No. God damn it. No. Stop. Uh, good kitty, good. Make sure you survive. Ah. Please hang on. My healing paws will give you the good touch right away. Alright. Ooh. Goodies. Alright. Let's heal real quick. Okay. 
guess that's good. She was the only one who really needed it, like, super bad. Ooh. I'm in! What is this? I don't know, but I'm gonna put some bridges down. Like Rotten egg. Good point, young lady. Alright, well, we're not going that way, apparently. Let's go up these stairs and see what's up here. Ooh. Let's set up camp and warm our fat by the fire. Oh, okay. I finally have some free time so I can take care of my role and build up my relationship with my party. When I'm done with everything, I'll click the fire to rest in its warmth. Oh, is this mine? While we're in camp, I have a chance to pay a lot of attention to my role. This will significantly affect its development. My dad cat was a role herder, but I don't remember all the role rules. Hmm, maybe I can ask my fellow party members for help. I should remember that I can only choose one interaction with the role, modify its diet once, and give it one present, because then it, it will get tired and go to sleep. What I do will be crucial. I have to think about this. Here, I'll ask her. What's up with you, Katniss? Oh, Simba, you interrupted my friendship meditation, but that's okay. Because we're best friends. I'm sure you had an important reason. Tell me about raising roles. Oh, Simba, you should know that the key factors in raising a good role are friendship and its physical manifestation. Known as, uh, presents. Special presents have the biggest influence because thanks to them, the role feels special. A popular special, uh, present are chew toys, which every respectable ch store with milk has in their inventory. Thanks to them, the role can learn to understand the idea and the need for teeth, which gives it a chance to grow into a hunting role. But even a simple present of a gesture, if it comes straight from the heart, will help you raise your role into a true tough guy or something else. Num num. Uh, I can give the role a present. I'll be spoiled like a millennial. <laughs> Uh, I'll give it something special. It's sure to develop its teeth that way. For one interaction, uh. You know, friendship. Listen, puppy. And so in conclusion, I used to disdain friendship, but now I see that friendship is the purpose of the heart. I rub the friendship all over myself every second of my life, and I'm constantly happy, even though my expression hasn't managed to keep up with my heart yet. Nom nom. Nom nom. should eat something else. Hmm. What do I satisfy its appetite with? It's important because I can't modify the diet more than once during one camp. Hmm. I'll think about it. Run, cat! Okay. Uh, I wish to drink the fish sauce of knowledge from your whiskers. I'm an international expert on general foodology with a yeast specialization you should know that if you want your role to be big and tough, it has to put on mass, because mass is power. If you don't feed it enough, it could grow into some fluffy wimp. And if you don't decrease or increase its normal food rations, it'll grow into something else. Logical, no? Are you following? What about special food? Steroid milk is pure yeast mass, which is much better than just increasing food rations. If you want to raise a true battle-tough guy, there can be side effects, but who cares about that? Generally, any special addition to the diet has a huge influence on the roll, so go ahead and experiment. What could go wrong? Thank you. Mm, I'll modify the diet. Uh, I think I have anything interesting. I don't have anything edible enough, so I might as well 
Let it go or modify its food rations. It's important because I can't modify it. Uh, I'll increase. More yeast means more math. All right, let me talk to you. When I look into your eyes, I see in them deep reflection and concern for the condition of modern society. Yes, I see. My role has been cared for. Time to go to sleep. Yes. Enough to chat. Time to go to sleep. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, what's happening? Are they attacking us? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. It was so horrible. I had a horrible dream. Oh, poor Miss Katniss. Tell us everything. Yes. I was attacked by a slimy old cold cut made of sham. I know they don't exist, and it's only a story made up to scare little kittens, but it was so real. Oh, no. That's horrible. Yes. But it wasn't. Its appearance, that was the worst. It called me an insidious piglet, and it was completely impervious to arrows. Horrifying. Oh dear, oh dear. Yes. But that wasn't the strangest thing. When I thought it was all over for me, I transformed into a purrier of friendship and justice in a sailor uniform. And then the sham fell down laughing at me. I can't believe I was so humiliated in front of a sham. It's sick and immoral. I'm truly sorry that you had such a horrible nightmare. Such a wonderful cat doesn't deserve things like that. Yes. But please, try to be brave and get some more sleep. Okay, I'll try. Thank you, friends. I'm so silly. I should have remembered that cats have nightmares after a solstice conjunction of 37 planets, three planetoids, two suns, and a black hole, and prepared, and prepared myself mentally. Well, anyone could have forgotten. There's been so much going on. Good night. Yes. Why are you squealing? You woke us up. I had a bad dream. I once had a bad dream too, but I didn't squeal and wake my party. Let my attitude be your inspiration, Katir. Thanks. You're a true mentor. No, no. Bad sham. Leave my uniform alone. You smoke scoundrel. Alright. Strike the camp. Let's take this flower and keep going to adventure. Hooray. What a lovely nap that was, which also regenerated all our HP and MP. Oh boy. What? We're not leaving until we pick up fern flower. Oh! This? I'm taking this flower. Um, uh, I see. That's what we were- Ah! After. I forgot. We have to go to the east. Or something. Nom nom! Puppy wants attention. Maybe it would be good to look in on it. Puppy! What do you want? Nom nom! What should I do with it? Uh. Oh. Nom nom! Oh, what did I do? <laughs> okay, my no, my role is resting in yeast hibernation. There's no chance in waking. What did I do? <laughs> I was so mean. Uh. Oh, I forgot we can go this way. Okay, well let's go this way. Is there anything up here? Oh. Okay. There's a chest behind that thing. Oh. All kinds of stuff. Going on. Oh, I gotta go around the other way. Alright. Coffee bean. There's a statue over here. Which is fabulous. Me weird. This is a statue of the great prince of Underpur, Devil Three, the Just, and his faithful plushy ducky companion, which was his great advisor and a doctor of law. 
He was also known as a genius strategist who led his underground army to help Meowder's gate, which was under siege by the combined forces of the furniture and pigeons, in which he crushed. Once the statue stood in Meowder's gate, but since nearly all black hats had to go underground, the citizens of the gate moved the statue outside of the walls so it wouldn't bring them bad luck. Do you want me to tell you the story of the history of the black hats, Katera? Do you? Once all cats walked on, our, on four paws and didn't wear clothes, like animals, they all played together, not paying attention to the color of their fur. This was before the first cat picked the crunchy snack from the tree of the forbidden kibble. Things got complicated after that. Anyway, black cats were always strange. They liked to dig and build cities underground, where they created rap, the language of the underground. It may have sounded cool, but cats weren't, weren't black, weren't able to understand it, which led to frustration and racial tensions. Besides, black cats had high cream. They liked to wear gold chains, and one day while exploring the underground, they reached the abyss of the nightmare cats, which are even blacker. Hellish cat mogs are their representatives. Horrible. Then we understood that black cats bring bad luck, and we exiled them from Meowder's Gate and pushed them completely into the underpur. That was a very long time ago. Your master Katashi is a black cat, isn't he? It's no surprise that he's always such a sourpuss since he brings bad luck. He probably stayed in Meowder's Gate after a student exchange with the Underpur or something like that. Yeah, well, he probably was... He was probably so unpleasant because my many cats were unpleasant to him. Violence begets violence. Mew! Exactly! That's why everyone should be nice to each other and smile and laugh and dance happily in a circle. Friendship! Always! Yes. Okay. This must be the famous... famous... Vegetablum Patchum. Oh, okay. I figured out how it works and and that it currently doesn't work since I've done the hardest part, which is to the analysis of the state of the machines. All you have to do is get them working again. It's an easy task that will let you practice the adventurous craft. I don't wanna. Why is it always me? You have to. We'll cover you. Covering you is also hard work. Come back when you get some of the vegetables from this equation. Just don't break anything. Uh, oh. Oh, I gotta put this here. And then I gotta... Oops. I don't think that was right. Okay. And then we need to put the other crystals over their thingies, I guess. Oh. Okay. Oh no. I put it into a corner and I can't- Oh no! Maybe not! I don't know. I don't know how to push it. Oh, there we go. Ah! No. Oh, maybe this is- Is this green or yellow? So that's right. Ball of holy. Uh, 
I can never tell if I'm in front of it or not. Okay. All right, let's move this out of the way. Okay, that's cool. I don't care. Nope, 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 nope. There you go. All right. Typical crystal battery activator. Power restored like my hopes of succeeding in this mission. But apparently something it needs something more than just power. Okay. What is this? A stone puzzle. No. Where do we put the finished product anyway? I don't understand. Like, how big is it? Do we just put it on this? Okay. So, this is the top. This is part of the bottom. The bottom corner. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, there's that. This. Um, this needs to come down here as well. Maybe it goes there? I don't know. Is. Can I not move it? What is this? Reset this. Oh, no, I need to do it. Okay. Oh, okay, so this is part of it. Oh, I can't move it as soon as it's in the right place. Okay. Makes sense. 
Alright, where's the bottom? You are the bottom bit. Way over here. water throwing machine is also works. A force field? What kind of pervert puts a force field on a tomato? An inactive stone puzzle activator. There's nothing more to be done here. Uh, oh. Some darn force field between me and my vegetable. I have to annihilate it. I don't know. Maybe this? No. Crystal pa the crystal battery is now in its place and the mechanism is drawing power from it. Hmm. Should I talk to my friend? Lance are either. These weeds are super interesting. They look like the side effect of the ancient cat's magical experiments. Um, I would do it faster myself, but I'll give you a chance to prove yourself. You should appreciate it. I don't understand. Mm, okay. Oh god, I have to get to the typical deactivator by balancing my fat off these pillows. Oh, let's see. I managed to swap the deactivator. Now I have to get back to the patchum. Oh, okay. Oh, that's problematic. Not really, but kinda. Okay, bye! I'm gonna get this crystal real fast, too. Alright, uh... Should be good now? Yeah. Got it, I'll pick it. Mine now. I don't see anything worthwhile around here. This would be good. Okay, so we have the thing and we have the vegetable. Excellent, you did it almost as well as I would have, if I felt like it. I'm so honored that you have no idea. Let's keep going. These ancient cats were really foolish to make it so difficult to grow vegetables. Yes. I get the feeling this might be one of the reasons that the mi they mysteriously died out. What a brilliant conclusion to Kater. Mew! It's fantastic that during this whole adventure with Vegetablum, we also managed to re regenerate our strength. Nom! Yes. Wonderful. 
Uh, too bad I can't get those ones that are unconscious. Oh, yeah, how do I get those? What's over there? Let's get out of here. No, let me back in. I didn't get the treasure chest. Now it won't let me back in. Evil. Evil. I don't know where to go. Ah. Uh. That treasure chest. I just want it. Oh well. Hmm. Uh, would it be enough scalps? Yeah, it would. Let's see if we can find some more cats to scalp. I'm pretty sure there's some around. We'll just murder them. Murder, 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 murder. Um, <laughs> Marky, they took the scalp. I am now level six. That is scalp number eight. Uh, there's one, there's one, there's one. Oh, there's another one. Hi, kitty. your head <laughs> Alright, we almost have all ten scalps. This will be the last one. The man has the one. any epicness so keep kicking you in the head Yes, 
I got the flower, I got the vegetable, and I got the uh, ten ground scalps. I think. I can try to. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Here you go, lady. I can tell you have the scalps. I'm surprised you took the time. As promised, I look upon you with more, with a more merciful eye. We are honored. And rightly so. I'll also give you a pack of discount coupons of magical milk. Your generosity is equal only to your beauty, my lady. On second thought, take these 50 yons too. Some cat tourists threw them in here. Can you imagine? I'm giving them to you because although you annoyed me initially, you've managed to wipe out the, the awful impression you made. We got the mysterious vegetable from the vegetable patchum. Alright, since you made the effort, you're worthy of hearing the story of my life. Great. It all started when my dad, Wet Cat, the powerful god of evil water, which splashes and wets cat fur, told me I had to get a job. Can you imagine? How am I supposed to get a job when I have dreams? I want to be a fashion designer. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, Katniss, you're too kind. I didn't get a job, so dad dumped my younger brothers on me to babysit. It's not enough that these... Those brats bugged me while I was trying to design. They entered into a symbiotic relationship with mud elements, which became uterus substitutes for them. They give them great power. If you want to get into the cave of ultimate destiny, you have to defeat my brothers, because I can't hit them myself. I won't tell you why, because I'm too mysterious. Alright, I'll slap them around. Oh shit. Oh. I see. We might die. I don't know. Because I can barely take one on. And they like to do that. Now there's two of them, so they can do it twice. Uh, let's see. I'm not hitting actually them, so it's not doing anything. I don't know. I'm hopeful, but I don't think so. Slowly, just very slowly beating down this freaking... damage. So it'll give me uh, stuff. Stuff. Uh, I don't have any of those. Oh, they both just want <laughs> they both wanted him down. <laughs> Epic. 
Okay. okay. Friendly fire. Ooh, can you pat this? Ow. Boot to the head. That doesn't do anything at all. Uh. uh let's see. Hey, we broke a shield. Oh now. We did it. They did a bit of a number on you. Know the grace of the goddess. Good touch. Oh, you're so nice. The middlings received uh, 50 XP points. Is that everything? Not at all. Oh, great lady of the puddle. We have the dark fern of the sun's gleaming for you. Excellent. Now you're worthy of learning the secret of the cave of ultimate destiny. We're listening. The cave was just my storage place for epic divine junk. A ring of underwater breathing that doesn't work underwater, or the wet Dagon blanket. I had to give the cave some epic name because I'm a demigoddess. And how could I live next to an unepically named cave, right? Makes sense. Sadly, my peace has been disturbed lately by some loud clown in an orange tracksuit who kept talking about friendship and whether I could would become the pirate queen on his ship. Can you imagine? Sounds uncomfortably familiar. Of course, I told him to get lost, so he got mad, ripped off all the seals, and transformed into a cat of nine tails. Can you imagine how embarrassing? Luckily, I defeated him and locked in the cave. By the way, now that I have all the ingredients I need, I can finally make my breakfast. Oh. 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 Yes. As you know, a fully nutritious meal is the foundation of fighting evil. Nom 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 nom. Alright. That recharged me. Now I'll pull out this a scalloper, the ancient enchanted sword in the stone, thanks to which I'll open the cave of the ultimate destiny. <laughs> By my honor, it won't budge. Problem? To be honest, I never brought the sword out, because the cave of ultimate destiny was always open. It's only recently that I had to lock it up because of the weirdo with nine tails. Oh well, I guess only the chosen cat with a pure heart can pull the sword from the stone. It usually works like that. We need the chosen cat to find the object that will help us find the chosen cat. It sounds like the famous paradox of the job market. A true stranger's cat. Oh gosh, oh gosh, what now? Yes. Oh. By the eternal wet fur of the wet cat. This cat is the chosen cat. What? He can't be the chosen cat. Don't are you? I'm the goddess here. I think I recognize the chosen cat when he appears in his full glory. But if he's... Why does he... I want to... Shoot. Looks like we don't need to make any more stops to look for artifacts for detecting the chosen cat. <laughs> Isn't that great, friend cat? But... 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 Go, but... Purgly. Fulfill your destiny. Only you can use Excalibur. Or Excalibur. And open the cave of ultimate destiny to defeat the demon cat of nine tails. Yes. Dang it all. I can't believe it. I believe it. To battle the middlings. Just remember the cat of nine tails is a powerful opponent. Go into the cave only when you've prepared yourselves for combat. Okay. I don't know what you want us to do. I mean, she healed up our HP, so we're not injured. Mm. Uh, so where is the cave exactly? Maybe I should look for that next time. I think I've been live for a while now. <laughs> Not live. Recording for a while now. Uh, maybe I'll find the cave and then we'll... Or I'll end. 
I think it might be up here. This is definitely the wrong way. Is it? Where's the cave? Should I know? Maybe it's up here? We can't go to Katmira. We came here for the legendary item and we'll leave with a legendary item. I thought we came to find the chosen cat. We've already got the chosen cat. Yes, but since the legendary item is within Paul's reach, it'd be a shame to not take it. You runny brat. I know, but we already have the chosen cat. No, no. Uh, let me uh, put that on Katniss. Oh, metal of the good kitty. What? Oh. Let's let's put this on her actually. Okay. Uh, you. Wait, I thought he got a new sword. I'm so Yeah, we got Excalibur. How come he can't use it? Magical golden sword pulled from the stone by the chosen cat, which is used as a key to the ultimate, the cave of ultimate destiny. Couldn't be more epic. Okay, well, I guess he can't equip it, which is weird. All right, what are you gonna do, I guess? Is it over here? No. Uh. Where is the cave? Maybe it's over here? Question mark? We should save our progress. You are correct, Katniss. Alright, next time we will go into the cave and we will explore the epicness that is the epicness. Blah. Chosen cat has been found. Chosen cat! Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, then please consider hitting that like button and subscribing. It really helps it out a lot. Thank you, thank you! Bye-bye!